A deadly crash in the middle of a Sanford neighborhood this morning. We've learned this wreck also left dozens of homes in the dark. The crash happened early this morning on East 7th Street, not far from Mellonville Avenue. And Mark Lehman's out there live this morning. A lot of questions about what led up to this. Bridget, we've been working to get those questions answered, but investigators say they're still trying to sort things out themselves. Right now, we're being kept about a block away from where this crash happened. They're off in the distance. It may be difficult to see, but there's one of the vehicles involved in the crash, and there's also a power pole that's now standing at about a 45 degree angle. Now, police say it was just after midnight when the two vehicle crash happened. One of those cars slamming into a utility pole and knocking out power to 10 homes. Investigators say the driver of the car was killed instantly that driver's body thrown from the vehicle and was found in the front yard of one of the homes here. What's unclear at this point is what led up to the crash and if there were any other injuries. Neighbors say there was a big search in the area with officers going behind houses and a helicopter overhead, but police are not saying what if anything was found. They're also not identifying any of the uh, victims involved. Now, while the investigation continues out here this morning, I can tell you Florida Power and Light have been working to restore the power, but that's something that is likely going to take several hours. They will need to replace the power pole that was badly damaged in this, and power will likely not be restored until around 1 this afternoon. In the meantime, we're continuing to work together. More details on this investigation will keep you updated throughout the morning. Justin.